here, buddy. Huh, your time with Clutch from Sodak Motorcycle Blog. It is May 26, 2022. And well, a few days here from now, we're going to be doing a fun burner gold attempt for an iron butt challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know, so you have the South Solar 1000, 1,000 miles, 24 hours. That is what we completed two years ago in 2020. Just for recap, we went down to Nebraska, picked up the trailer, came back. And then last year, we did a bun burner, which is 1,500 miles in 36 hours. Succeeded that. For those of you who don't remember, we went down to Las Vegas, took the long way as Vegas, Went through Albuquerque, and we got it done. Well, this year, we're up in the ante just a little bit more. We're doing what's called Bun Burner Gold, or attempting it, and it's 1,500 miles in 24 hours. So, all the, all the, basically, the issue of trying to get that, that 1,500 miles, well, now instead of 36 hours, you're trying to do it in a day. And it's going to require some, a challenge. I've heard a few that have completed it say it was the toughest one they did. You know, it, it's pretty challenging. It's 24 hours straight. Uh, you're pretty much, you're pretty much going to go for 24 hours straight. You know, you factor in breaks and stuff like that. Um, some of the pre-planning I've done, uh, we're looking at most of my end times are going to be about 23 and a half hours. So it's going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be a, like I said, a challenge. So, it's supposed to happen last weekend, but we got delayed by, well, some uh, weather issues. Basically, it was cold, and there was some snow in Colorado. It, it basically just didn't work out last weekend. So, we're going to do it this weekend. And hoping it goes well. Um, we're doing some final route planning. I'll, I actually haven't quite decided a route yet. Um, there's a couple things in bouncing around my head um kind of trying to work it out with there's some uh give me some sounds like some pretty pretty uh some severe weather here moving into here to the northern plains this weekend so that's gonna be an issue to deal with um right now my plan is it's probably about probably eight or nine o'clock in the morning on saturday and try to be back by then you know hopefully everything works out um, definitely kind of, uh, I don't know, a little more nervous about this one. Last year I was, last year I felt good last year because you, I'd done the, done the saddle sore and this year was going to be, you know, like I said, this year I'm a little more nervous just because, well, I've never gone, it's been a while since I've kind of went for 24 hours straight. I mean, we're looking at, we're looking at back in like my, you know, doing some field exercises back in the day when I was in, uh, in a National Guard unit actually deployed, had to do field stuff a lot. And so I remember doing some of our, you know, getting our, when we do like 36 hours stops, stuff like that. So this is going to be interesting. I, I think it'll go well. I think I'll achieve my goal. I'm I I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think I'm way over hyping it in my mind, and it I ain't gonna lie. It's been this week's been a rough week. Last few weeks have been kind of rough. A lot of just crap going on. Got a lot of things going on in my life. Nothing nothing really bad, but just a lot of little things going on in my life. So you know it, I can tell like this week I've been kind of irritable. So. For my full-time job, part of it involves I basically drive around our state kind of taking supplies. Or at least it's not my job right now, but I'm filling in a job because I am I have a, I'm, I have the ability to drive a semi. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. Well, and so I'm, I'm in the middle of this run. Like, you'll notice I'm in a hotel room. Um, I actually, I'm actually out of town with business right now. Um, tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to get home tomorrow night. Hopefully a decent time in the afternoon. 
and I have to go to, well, first of all, I have to go to the Honda dealership, pick up my mirror, which I crushed way back when for, you know, you're watching this in December for holiday special. Uh, but wait, if you don't, if you forgot back in May, bike ticked over in the wind, basically destroyed my mirror. Well, the mirror came in this week when I was gone, of course. So pick up a mirror, go to Walmart, pick up supplies for the run, go home, switch out my mirror, um, put together everything I need for the run, do my checks for the bike, um, and basically go to bed. Oh, not to mention, uh, NHL playoffs are going on, so I plan on watching the Colorado game that night. Hopefully they don't blow another one, although I don't know. <laughs> well, we've seen this before. but So there's a lot of things going on, but, you know, hopefully all goes well. I guess we'll see what happens. But anyways, um, yeah, let's start the video here. Um, I guess let's tune in maybe... Hopefully Saturday morning with me getting ready to go. Well, boys, here it is, night before. It is. Oh, we got a moth in here. It's Friday, May 27th. And, well, we are ready. We're about ready. We're pretty much ready to go. Uh, got it yet? Oh, nice. I can record both ways. I got a few things I need to load up yet. Uh, got the cooler I need to road up. Um, got that. We're going to have that ready to go. Give me some monsters, maybe some, some water in there. Got the helmet up ready to go. Got the GoPros and the, and the little cheap queso ready to go. Got my, got my uh, old phone GPS that uh, has been converted to a GPS. Got that hooked up ready to go. Bike's all ready. To go. Everything's ready. Um, probably do, do a final tire pressure check in the morning. Throw my cooler on and we'll be ready to go. So, should be. Oh, this can be. I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm, I'm excited. Like, really, really excited for this. This, this is that last little bit right before you start a run, and it's. It's almost the worst part for me because you just you just want to start now because I'm one of those is once once I once I once I swipe that card tomorrow once I put my fuel in and once I get going down the road especially once I hit about the 50 100 mile mark I get tuned in it then it's like yes we're here we're tuned in we're good to go but it's that that uh, waiting that that getting into the you know that you've spent all this, I've spent all this time, you know, you spent some time planning, even think about ideas, what you're going to do, been planning routes, been planning when you're going to do it. This run's already been delayed a week because of weather last week. So it's finally, thank God. Also, so a special part of this run this year is, uh, so as you probably already know, I'm a member of the Green Knights Military Motorcycle Club, Chapter 68, Ellsworth Air Force Base here in South Dakota. Uh, one thing we're doing for the Green Knights this year is we're doing, essentially we're people from every chat, from chapters all over the country, all over the world, we're doing iron butt runs as just kind of a, as just a way to honor those that have fallen. So that's, that's also why this week is such a big deal. And this, the last two weeks have been a big deal because this is not only for for me to, to, to take that next level, to check that next block off in my progression as an iron butt rider, but also it's a bigger purpose of me being part of my organization and honoring honoring those that have fallen before us. So this is Memorial Day weekend. You're probably not watching this video on Memorial Day weekend, but uh, you know, and Memorial Day weekend, it's a fun weekend. It's it's first weekend of summer, and I'm not taking any of that away, and I'm not saying to not go out and not have fun for you know for that weekend. Because it's the first weekend of summer, school's out, you know, go enjoy it. But you know, whenever you're doing something like this, and whenever you're doing especially on I'm, I'm veteran or on Memorial Day, especially, take some time, think about it. 
you know, think about those that, that can't be here, that can't enjoy that barbecue, who can't enjoy that camping trip, who can't enjoy that iron butt run that you're going to do. So maybe take some time, think about it. Obviously, we're going to have, when you're doing an iron butt run, you get plenty of time to think. You know, you're, you're driving, you're spending a lot of time, a lot of windshield time, a lot of time looking road. You get a lot of time to think. So definitely going to be on my mind. But anyways, we're going to go take a shower, get cleaned up, go to bed, get a really awesome night's sleep. It's about 9.30 at night right now. Um, I'm My plan is to be leaving my start stop at 10 in the morning tomorrow morning. So this isn't going to be like, like I normally do where it's going to be an early get up or anything like that. Nope, it's going to be we're going to get a really good night's sleep. And just because some of that is that's kind of how going to be how my, uh, my path works out where I'm going over to Wisconsin and back. And I'm going to basically use... Minnesota and Wisconsin as for my for my darkness hours mainly because the fact they got lower speed limits and if I'm gonna be in a place stuck with a lower speed limit well I just well use it to my advantage and drive at night because when you're driving in the, in, at dark in the dark it's obviously behooves you to slow down a little bit excuse me a little bit if you can so it's gonna be my way to working it into it but anyways time for bed and we will talk to you in the morning Missouri, where in game six, the Avalanche and the Blues are tied at one apiece, and this game starts. All right. Good morning, everybody. We're doing it again. Yes. All right, give me the receipt. Great. All right, got to go in the place to get a damn receipt. Can I get the Can I get the receipt for pump 3? What's that? Um, I just filled up on pump three. One, two, three. Yeah, I need the receipt for pump three. I got it. Oh. Thank you. Well, it ain't a real iron butt run unless you gotta go inside to get a damn receipt. Always something. Okay. We're ready. Let's go. We're up. Minor technical difficulties. Already had one receipt that one print. I've heard that's become an issue. So hopefully it won't become a pattern. Although it probably will be. All right, we're doing this. Let's hope this is a good, nice run. 
I think it will be. I got a good feeling about it. Yeah, I think I got a good feeling about it. Sure do. Well, so our end goal is we're hitting to Windsor, Wisconsin, which is just north of uh, of the Madison, Wisconsin Metro. We're basically taking I-90 out and we're coming back in I-90. So quick, easy run, about, I wanna say seven stops. Oh, by the way, if I haven't told you already, I mean, I've probably said it already three times on this video, but we are attempting a bun burner gold this time. Which a bun burner gold is, remember that 1,500 miles I did in 36 hours last year? Well, this year it's 1,500 miles in 24 hours. So it's going to take some work. It ain't going to be easy. But we're going to get it done. Because that's what we do. We left from Rapid City just recently, just now. Like I said, we had some technical difficulties with the receipt. The cashier has a receipt in there and she's like, uh, I don't have a receipt for Home 3. And I'm like, come on, are you kidding me already? But fortunately, the other person knew how to print a receipt. So let's hope, like I said before, let's hope that don't become a, a pan a epidemic. But that's why every stop I'm choosing is a 24 hour stop because of that we're gonna give her hell and get some miles down and uh we'll see uh probably in chamberlain no okay everybody well we're a little over 100 mile point Kind of got settled in now to the right. South wind's a little bit prickly today. Hopefully I don't mess with my fuel mileage too much, although I think this first stop is going to be... I hope I don't have to make an extra stop. I may have to make a splash and go stop. Like I said, I'm hoping not, but... It's going to be close. Let's put it that way. It's going to be close. If all it fails, I'll stop a few miles short in Oakoma. I think it's about eight miles short of Chamberlain where I'm going to get fuel. So all it fails, we could probably do that. We'll see how it goes. But other than that, things are going fairly well, kind of getting settled in. Right at that point in the run where I said it would get about 100 miles, where you just kind of get settled in. You get the business. So, we're looking at about five minutes ahead, although we haven't got to any construction zones yet, which I know they are coming, so that'll slow us down a little bit, but honestly for the way I put my time where I put it at 10 and the drive time to get me to Chamberlain South Dakota at 1350 Central which is 1250 on my on my uh, old phone GPS so you see 1245 on there that means that's 1245 Mountain so we're sitting good there with with the, it took me 10 minutes to get going out of uh, out of the, the uh, start so I'm actually sitting pretty good. I got a good feeling about it. Like I said, I'm kind of cautiously watching my fuel right now. Hopefully that cooperates. Although, like I said, I think we'll be okay. All spells, we do a quick splash and go. All right, now the weather's been pretty good. It's 81 degrees. I do know this, by the time I get on the other side of the river, it's going to be low 90s, so it's going to be pretty warm over there, but I got plenty of liquids to keep me hydrated, and so far I feel pretty good. 
I've been able to move a run air around where I'm not really too hot in my in my gear, so that's a good thing. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to moving down the road, and we'll check you hopefully closer to England. Okay, set wrap time. We have got to Chamberlain. We actually ended up doing a splash and go at at Kennebec because my fuel light come on and I didn't trust it to get us here. So we're basically right on time right now, which that's good. At least I got myself enough of a buffer where I could board a stop like that. But we're gonna stop here, fuel up. I um, mean, everything else seems to be running good. Kind of what's screwing me today is the fact that while well, the wind's blowing from the south and it's just, yep, anytime you got wind blowing against you, especially on a gold wing, you're going to have issues. There might feel like just come on again, so I think it's a good thing I stopped and put in a gallon because I don't think I would have made it here. But it's part of what makes these runs fun is if you have issues or whatever. Oh wow, 399? Holy crud. Oh hell. Probably the cheapest gas I'll have the whole trip. 